want you to imagine for a moment being one of those travelers on the Santa Fe Trail. You started out your long journey in Independence, Missouri. And over the next few weeks and months, you've encountered hardship after hardship after hardship. For your accounts and your, and your sensibilities, you're in the middle of nowhere. You're out of civilization altogether. But you get eight, ten miles away from Fort Union, flying above the horizon. You see that American flag. And just imagine how heartwarming, how, how welcoming that would be to come back to Fort Union, to all these amenities that you are used to. Now, for those that were traveling on the Santa Fe Trail from the area of New Mexico back to the east, this is a first glimpse of what to expect once you get back, uh, once you get to the east. You have uh, a manicured gar uh, manicured lawn here that looks like a golf course. The buildings painted white, shining like a diamond. All of these necessities that, that are, 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 are critical for living back in the east you will find here at the fort. Now on the flip side of this, this flagpole, 120 feet tall, was also a large warning sign for many, many of the Native Americans. This is Fort Union. We are here. We're not going 